we're looking at the histology of the large intestine, or the colon. We're going to work through our four layers, the first of which we're pointing at now is going to be our mucosa epithelium. We're going to zoom on in to take a closer look at that little band of muscle known as the mucosa muscularis. And below it, we're going to navigate to our submucosa, again, connective tissue, blood vessels, lymphatic vessels are going to come through here. And below that are two layers. There's our first circular layer of muscle and then our second longitudinal layer of muscle in the muscularis. Below that is going to be our final serosa. We're going to go back up top and take a look at the epithelium so we can really see the difference between the stomach and the small intestine. Again, notice that our cells are going to be simple columnar. Notice that we are lacking villi and microvilli like we see in the small intestine. We no longer have those structures. Zoom on in, see those nice intestinal glands. We see our simple columnar arrangement of epithelium. And we're going to see, as we move around, we'll see some nice, so there's a few goblet cells that's going to line this. We're going to have a lot of goblet cells in these structures. It's going to secrete a lot of mucus. Uh, there's another gland within the crypt, our intestinal crypt, our crypt of Lieberkuhn. Notice that we're going to be absorbing. These are glands that are going to assist in absorbing of water and electrolytes as well as our goblet cells that are going to be secreting mucus to help facilitate movement of your feces through this large tube. Again, we're just going to scan just so you can see the arrangement.